Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below. I definitely love it if you visited me over there sometime. So today I am back to show you our homekeeping book or our home management book. There's lots of different names you can use for it. But for us, it's I really refer to it as our homekeeping book. And it has lots of different stuff inside of it. And it's really made our life life easier as a family and there's no more searching for stuff there's no more papers filed in the wrong files there are no more surprises um, and I primarily use this book but other family members do too and I'm going to take you actually up to my desk because the lighting is changing I know it's going to be dark soon um, I'll come back down here and wrap it up though but I'm going to take you upstairs where there's a little better lighting and share what's inside of this book um, I've been using it for about a month and a half. It's working really well in combination with the planner I'm using right now and our um, chalkboard walls and different family calendars. It all ties into this one book. So I'm very excited to share it with you. Let's head upstairs and go check it out. So I decided to risk it, stay downstairs, and deal with the lighting down here and just show you my homekeeping book right here on our breakfast table. So, you know, there's lots of different kinds of binders you can pick from. This is a classic style view binder. It is from Office Depot. This is the, the insert that goes here. Now this is the view binder, so you have an open space right here. You can put a family picture, you can put to-do list. Um, I'll show you a couple things in a minute that I keep in there. But this is what it is. It's the Office De Depot Classic Style View Binder. I can't remember how much it was, um, but it's in black. It's 1.5 inches, but it's super, super soft. So it's not one of those really hard plastic binders which I'm personally not really a big fan of I like you know something a little more soft and a little more pliable so I went with this one and in this front section what I keep in here is a couple of different things now sometimes let me get it all out of here okay so the first thing I had in here was a homemaker's prayer, and here it is. It says, Dear Lord, wake me with the sun and help me rise. I want to build this house with a mind that is wise. While I prepare breakfast and warm up the place, let me greet my precious ones with a smile on my face. As I teach my young children, please help me know everything I do will follow them as they grow. Help me love my sweet husband and be the best wife. You made me for him for the rest of my life. Pile, the pile of dishes and mountain of clothes seem so overwhelming. Help me tend to those. I know I am not perfect. I'll have some bad days, but I love my family. I show them in these ways. I'm just not a homemaker. I don't just cook and clean. I made this house a home. My work is always seen. As I in the meals I prepare and the floors I mop to the kisses I give and the fights I stop, but it's not in vain. I love what I do. Help me do do it my best. I ask this of you. Amen. And Joni Bachman wrote this, and she is at simplelivingmama.com, and I just thought it was beautiful. So for a long time, I had that in there. And then I put our weekly cleaning checklist. This is for a whole month, and right now I have that in the front. I pull it out. I check things off or mark them off, and I'll talk more about this as we get through the book on where you can find those checklists. So those items just live right here in my, um, my homekeeping book. So they just live in there and it makes me super, super happy. So as you flip open this book, there's not a whole lot fancy going on. You're not gonna see a ton of washi tape, a color coordinated, super, super organized homekeeping book, no. Um, this is like 
first draft on a lot of the planning. It's also a place where we store paperwork and different things that need filed, but it's definitely like the rough copy of stuff. A lot of the stuff gets transposed to my own personal planner and the chalkboard walls and the family calendar. On this very first page, I have some sheet protectors. Um, now I got some right here. These are just the Dollar General sheet protectors. You can find sheet protectors anywhere. And um, what is, on, I have two pages. I just printed up an extra one. So um, you guys wouldn't like see my information, but see we have one filled out. Uh, and this is on the very first page because it gives all of the um, information, say, Jackson would need to call 911, his address. It lists things out in such a neat way that he can find things. And if there's an emergency, you know, I don't really expect him to always just pull this out. But it's good that he knows it's here in case he needs it. So I just took the time and printed it all out. And this came from organizedhome.com. And, um... It's very helpful. So it's all filled out and it's the first page. Then you will see a lot of these tabs. And these are the view tabs with pockets. This is what they look like. Um, and I really, really like these. So I bought these at Office Depot. I don't remember the prices on everything, um, but I did spend a pretty penny when I first started this book. Um, but you can do it in any way you want. You don't have to have dividers with folders, but I wanted some. So all I did was use my label maker and make some different tabs. The first one is calendar. In this section, there is some stuff I want to go through, you know, during the year. Um, it also has a 2014 and 15 calendar in here. I have my own weekly schedule, and I just bought one of the little Paper Pro um, three punch holes, three hole punch, excuse me, and it works really nice, and it's pretty. It matches, like, my desk area, and I just love it. So this wasn't even that expensive, but it allows me to put stuff in the book. So I have the weekly schedule that I showed you guys a while ago. And then I have just this monthly layout here. So I have one for obviously every month. I have the birthdays listed. And there's another there's no color coordinating. There's no worrying about if we gotta scratch something off, if we need to add something. We just want to be able to grab a pen and jot down like all the important times in our family on what's going on. Um, so this is where it starts at. Um, important stuff, day Scott's off work, bills um, that are due, things that we're doing um, like trips and um, different things about our home and our life get recorded in this part of the planner. It just helps. It's just like the first rough draft of the month. So, you know, some months might be busier than others. I'm not putting a ton of stuff on here and I'm not caring, you know, if it's just in little print or big print. It's just going on it in a very rough copy kind of way. So I went ahead, put in birthdays and such and important dates, and then we move over to the next folder. Folder. And this one is just to do's. So, um, you know, I have a folder here that I don't have anything in, but um, I love how curved they are and everything. I just think they're super cute. I have these get it done pages in here. And these um, are really nice um, because you can kind of roadmap your week out with things you want to do, things for the weekend, things for the month, and eventually. And I just got a lot of copies of those in here. Um, and I also have, and I still have some things to fill out, but I also have a home to-do list and a work to-do list that I haven't started using yet, but I will. And that might also go up into the front so, you know, I can access it really easy. So I have a couple copies of those. Um, the next tab here is cleaning. And um, if I have anything that I, you know, want to put in the section, I could put in the folder. But I have a bunch of different cleaning schedules in here. I have this rotating cleaning schedule. And um, I bought this whole kit like off Ipsy and, or off Ipsy, off Etsy. And I'll put that information below. But there's different things to do in every month. And really, it's very, very similar to what is normal in my house, what I need to do. So I love this just as a reference. 
Then I have the once a week cleaning list if I want to use this. It has just your basic things you want to get done. It has space for, you know, more things for you to write out. And it gives you basically a month at a time because you get four weeks. So I have different copies of those. And then this is the weekly cleaning checklist that I have in the front right now. And it allows you to add an extra task right here. It gives you your daily cleaning checklist. Most of the time, these are the things I get done daily. The beds, the laundry, decluttering, sweeping, the counters, and it leaves a small little space for what you want to accomplish that is not written down. So you can see, like over here, I have some stuff and on this week. So I've been utilizing this sheet and I have, you know, really been enjoying it. Um, it's been helpful. It just gives me little reminders of things I want to get done and things that I really, you know, need to get done. Then I have this, and this is the clean house checklist. You can make your own list for the kitchen, the living areas, the dining room, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the storage areas, and everything else. So these are really helpful too. I have only used one so far, but I love having them. Then at the back in sheet protectors, I have my own stuff that I like to do. My daily to-dos, my weekly cleaning for Monday, my detailed cleaning for the kitchen, my detailed cleaning for the living room and dining room. I just type these up in Word. My detailed cleaning checklist for the bathrooms, for the bedrooms, for the pantry. And I also have this homemade cleaning recipe sheet in here. Really, it should be in a sheet protector. I have not put it in one, but these are really good um, recipes. Now, some of them are not exactly my own. Some of them actually are, but it gives you an all-purpose cleaner. It gives you a soft scrub. It gives you a glass cleaner. It gives you a, a laundry detergent, a dishwasher detergent, a bleach alternative, an air freshener, a grout cleaner, a dust and spray, and a toilet bowl cleaner. So I thought that was perfect. I'm doing better with making my own cleaning products. I'm still buying quite a few though. And um, that's where that sheet lives. It should be in a sheet protector. Then we go to the next tab, which is menu planning. So in this area, I keep a lot of stuff. Now, I keep different coupons, like pizza coupons in this little pocket and some other stuff just um, for nights, you know, we're eating out and we want something fast and we, you know, might have a coupon. I'll put that coupon in this area instead of the other coupon area um, because this is specifically to food. Um, and now, I love this grocery list. Um, it gives you a place to write down, you know, what you want for dinner each night. It gives you a list of different things you can check off that you need, an estimated total. And I've, you know, used this a couple of times. I just print it and make copies. I also have these. That was part of a kit I bought off Etsy. And it allows you to put your breakfast, lunch, and dinner for each day. And then what to buy. I've used this a bunch of times at grocery shopping. Um, trips that I make. Then back here, I have the menus. So each month is on its own. I write out, I try to do it all in one setting. I write out the meals that we're going to have. If we don't eat the meals, I circle them so I know they can roll over into the next week in case we're eating out a lot or, you know, something comes up and we're eating a lot of leftovers. If I don't eat the meal, I just circle it and I know, again, it can go into the following month. So there's January's and here's February's. Now, I don't plan on throwing these away because I think they will be extremely helpful to look back on to menu plan in future months. I've already started for March and as I think of different meals and stuff, I can go on and pencil them in you know, as needed. So this is another shopping list that I printed off. It just gives you, you know, little areas. It's not really in detail. Um, it was part of a kit and I printed off quite a few copies of those. Now, in my um, 
quest to become more organized. I really want to do the freezer inventory and the pantry inventory. I, honest to God, just have not got to it yet. But I have these pages, and um, you just write the description and the quantity, and it gives you, you know, a very detailed, itemized list of what is in your freezer. And there's also one for your pantry. So, or, well, in your fridge, too. Um, here's the one for the pantry. Same way you put the description, put how many you have, and the same way with the fridge. Now, these will be extremely handy as we move into spring and summer. I am just currently reorganizing our pantry. Probably will be reorganizing our fridge. And as I get done with those projects, I will definitely come back and fill these pages out because I think they're super important for the homekeeping book. Then um, it gives you a place to list out your family's favorite meals from breakfast, lunches, snacks, and dinners. Um, and this is also a part of that kit that I will link below and you can find it on Etsy and buy it by bulk, you know, with all these different printables or one by one. Um, and then let's see, what's the last page? Um, well, this is the price book, and this is something, another thing that, you know, is a goal of mine to get done. I'm not the best at knowing if milk is cheaper at this store or that store. I really want to keep a price book. Now, I would like to also find an app on my phone that would work to do that so I can have it when I'm grocery shopping, or maybe, um, you know, I can do one per store, but I'm getting there. Again, this is in this book, even though it's not filled out as a reminder of something I need to do something I want to do and a goal you know that I have set to do it same with recipes to try it gives you a place to print these out this came from organized home as well as did this one the price book so those are free printables you can get there I'll do my best to link those below and in the coordinating blog post I also have a tab for finances I've covered a lot up here so in this pocket on the inside i keep our bills and these are our monthly bills when they're paid they go into a different filing system but until they are paid they stay right here now i have two different pages um, i have the bill and payment checklist and i'm not going to show you mine it would scare you if i did because you know yeah a lot of bills and then i also and i only made a copy of one of these let me see there we go. I also have the spending tracker and it just allows you to list out. I'm just going to show you like list out um, what you spent on. And, um, you know, I have one for each month. And then when I'm done for that month, I file these in my filing system so they don't bulk up this book. So these pages, I did not fill out. I guess I could have just printed another one so you guys, you know, could have seen it and I still could have done it. But this is an address list in the finance area that um, I will have, like, for our bills and, um, you know, different accounts. And the same with the family yellow pages. This will have a lot of the businesses' names we use and a lot of their phone numbers. But I, you know, do want to keep some private you know, about our life, and I don't want our address and city, you know, just blasted across the internet. So, um, those will be filled out in the coming weeks, just with all of our different bill people, um, and our account numbers, and all of that, and then on the next page, we have, you know, the area for more numbers, such as maybe the movies, or the beauty salon, or some of the other stores we shop at, not specifically bills but other stores that we shop at in the area with their phone numbers just for easy reference if we need to then i have this big um wilson jones um view tab so it keeps all of my receipts in it and this is um what it looks like the package um they are um, they call them dividers, but they are just these big, big pockets. And I put our receipts in here. I don't really want to get up on them a whole lot. And then at the end of the month or, you know, on a less busy day, I file them away um, and destroy the other ones that we don't need.
And this is really sturdy, by the way, and um, I like it a lot. It already came with hole punches in it, so it works out well, and it's helped us many times already. So the next tab is school, and this is stuff to do with my son's school, his like report cards, different permission slips, different things for his school go in this pocket. And then we have his school calendar printed out specifically per the month. We have his classes and his different schedules, and he has um, two different schedules for two different semesters, and that's where that stuff lives. Anything pertaining to school goes in that folder. If you don't have kids, clearly that wouldn't be one you need. If you do have kids, you might want to have a folder like this, but section it off with other dividers, maybe the ones I'll show you in a few minutes, per child it might make it a lot easier on you if you do then we have a family folder now in this pocket i've kept lots of different things already but right now it's empty um, i've kept tickets for a baseball game i have kept tickets for the um the hockey game scott went to i had our circus tickets in here and i just keep things that we're going to be doing as a family and maybe some ideas i can put on here if i need to i just put a piece of um, sticky note here and then each person who's in the house right now has their own folder they have these individual tabs on them so we have one for scott one for me and one for jackson now if Brittany, zane or jordan ever moved in with us they would have their other um, they would have their own folders i find found these i think at walmart they are the carolina um pad it looks like the polka dot party collection from studio c i just thought they were super cute they only had blue and green so i wanted a different one for jackson and i got him this sketch what well, i can't say it set sketch wash i can't even say that whatever the folder so you know it kind of looks like him so in these folders i'm just going to kind of back up because i don't want to show a lot in detail i keep things pertaining to each person. Scott got a speeding ticket. This is something to do with court. These are um, papers regarding court in Louisiana. This is tax stuff um, and child support stuff. And all of that lives in Scott's folder. The stuff that lives in my folder is pretty much the same. I have some tax stuff. I have some receipts from like Sephora and stuff. They could have went into the um, other folder, but I wanted to be sure to keep them and some other papers. The same for Jackson. He's got his own set of papers pertaining to him, and all of those live right here. Then we move on into the pet care tab. Now, we have four cats, one large dog, and a bunch of fish. Um, now, a friend, um, a viewer, actually sent me this recipe for a dog food recipe for Cooper. I just, you know, put it on um, in his little area. I also have some receipts and in here in this area I have this little pocket thing that I punch holes in it keeps his receipts to his dog food and once he gets so many he gets a free dog food so that just lives in Cooper's little pocket now there's a lot of stuff that's not filled out on these because I wanted to start them from 2015 we're just you know into February and um, a lot of their past medical history which Cooper has an extensive medical history is not written on here so most of the these are blank, but I have these pet care forms. I also got off Etsy. I printed them myself. I'll put the links below. It gives an area for each pet, the foods and treats, the allergies and medication, and any notes. So we have one for Cooper. We also have one, um, a pet history form like this, where you have the date, the diagnosis, the medication. He is currently medicine free except for vitamins, so I don't have those written down. But as we move into the year, we have this um, to keep track of things. I have a pet form for Romeo. The same pet history for Romeo and all of the other cats. So they are set up for 2015 so we don't lose any of their health information. And that's what lives in this area. It will get more filled out as time goes on. So the next folder I have to be careful with here is for the house sitter. So over here... I have one of these little envelopes. I tried to glue it on. I used hot glue. I also used um, 
um, stick glue and nothing really worked. The hot glue kind of worked, but it eventually came off. This is just a little envelope for a house sitter for her money. So her money um, sits here and any additional notes or anything she wants to leave me can be put in this folder. Now I have this house sitting instruction page printed out and the, mine is um, already done. It's buckled in and you can kind of see and it just kind of lists out where we're going to be going and what we're going to be doing. You can kind of see here. And it's you just go ahead and fill it out on the computer and print it out with your information. Everything is in detail, even, let's see. I have, you know, information about the animals. I, I thought it was a different page. And um, it really is helpful. So you can see I have notes about mail and on what I want her to do with it. And then, um, let me kind of make sure I'm not showing anything. So the next page would be this one and it has our emergency numbers and such and additional information. And this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I'll just kind of back up so nobody can really see. I put additional notes to her, you know, some things I really need her to do and help out with and some things I don't like and stuff like that, all for the house sitter. Now the house sitter and the pet sitter is the same person and I have this form in here, the pet care instructions, and I have it all filled out um, and it tells where we're gonna be at, where, where the cats hide at, additional information, and you can kind of see, let me, and there's a second page too with different numbers and such, and that lives here and you can kind of see like, like I have about the dogs and the cats, everything is filled out and it's in this area too, which I love. Um, additional information, and then there's some pages back here in case she wants to leave me a note or I wanna leave her an additional note. And then we move on into the miscellaneous folder. And it's just a folder, there's nothing else. It just has some different things. This is some stuff from our phones transitioning from Altel to AT&T, and eventually that will get filed. But this is for stuff that I really don't know what to do with. It lives in that pocket. Now I do have another miscellaneous file too. Now I have these little dividers, and these are what I was talking about to maybe divide the kids off under family if you need to, or under the school section. So I have one for my car, and in this one, I just have my vehicle maintenance and when to do different things, and you just check it off. So that's for 2015. There is nothing from the past um, year in here. Then I have a section for travel because we always seem like we're going here, there, and everywhere. So I got lots of different checklists. I pull these out, um, fill them out, and use them. So this one's a before we leave. These are just some printables. I'll list where I found them. There's a travel packing checklist. Um, and I have some, some ones I really like to use the most. Um, but I have a couple. There's one for each person. There's additional notes, um, room for different things you wanna take. So I have some of those printed off. These are from Organized Home also. And these are my favorites. So you have a traveler here and you have different days um, of what you wanna have. I also have, you know, a place for to check off the toiletries, the medical stuff, the electronics, the kids entertainment, beauty and makeup, different snacks. I love this. And um, I will put the link where you can find it um, below. So there's one for each traveler. Another one that I like a lot is this one. So, well, hold on, where is it at? It's this one, yes. So this one is just clothes. So you got traveler one here and traveler two here. So if you have two kids, you can just get them and check them straight off and make sure you got plenty of things to take with you, you know, through your travels. And then I have my own checklist. So I have to do before leaving. These are all things I think I've shown you already. Um, and um, we move right on into a pocket. Now this pocket came in a different folder. I just cut it, hole punched it, put it in, and this is for more travel notes. Then we have a miscellaneous section. And in this section, there's a holiday budget that I will be using through 2015. If I buy something early, I'll put it on here. 
I also have a movie inventory list. I need to fill this out for movies that I want to do reviews on. Most of my blog and YouTube notes are not in here, but I really like this page, so I put it in here. And then there's some more additional notes. And then right back here is one of my favorite parts of this entire book. This is just the monthly tabs. Very, very simple. They're just the monthly dividers. And what I did is just put some graph paper in between each month. Just a couple pieces. So the, the book didn't bulk up real bad. And this lists anything that happened important in our house during that month. Different things with social services, different things with Jackson in school, with Scott, with um, things that we're doing like Night at the Circus, anything going on serious with the kids. It all goes in the appropriate month so I can find it easy. Um, a lot of times I'm flipping through my planners. I can't find what I'm looking for like if it happened, you know, in 2013 in the year and I don't know what month I won't be able to find it easy it's been a real hassle to find different things like that so that's what this section is for moving on into the very back I just have a big big folder that keeps all the coupons um, that I plan on using. I try to look through these when I'm menu planning um, so I know if I want to take coupons with me. Um, oops, let me get fix that real quick, I'm so sorry. I have my address labels in this next pocket and then back here I just have some additional cards, some thank you cards I want to send out, some um, little books that have came in, some more coupons, and just some random stuff that lives back there in the very back. So that is it when it comes to my homekeeping book. It's very, very simple. In the front, I just have some additional stickies and some different papers. I have some of Scott's business cards and some of mine just in case somebody came in and needs a card. I know where to get one out from. And this has just been such a life-changing book for us. It's really helped keep our family organized. It's very, very easy to use and it's open to everyone. Now, um, I do keep some money hidden in here. The boys know where it's at and it's available to them, you know, like for pizza or school money or anything that um, they need money for. Maybe, you know, if I don't have cash on me. So um, let me jump back in front of the camera and I will finish this video up. We still have light. I can't believe it. I want to hurry this video up because I'm worried about, you know, the lighting and it getting dark on us. But I really hope you enjoyed having a look inside of our home management binder or homekeeping book. That's what I like to call it. And maybe got some ideas for yourself on how to set one up. It doesn't matter if you're in an apartment, if you're in a house, if you're in a mobile home. It really doesn't matter. It's going to work wherever you are, whatever kind of home you have. You can set it up to manage your family in such an easy way. You saw that there was pockets for Scott, myself, and Jackson. There would be more pockets if the kids are here, if it's summertime, um, if more kids move in, which is always a possibility. And... If you don't have pets, um, you wouldn't need that, that section. If you don't have a house sitter or travel a lot, you wouldn't need that section. It's really more for your family where you can personalize it to what you need to keep track of most. I love menu planning with this. Um, I love having a place for important papers, schedules. Um, I love the back with the different tabs for the different months so we can write notes down about what's went on in those months. I don't have to flip through my planners trying to figure out what happened a year ago on this day or when this happened or when that happened, that section in the back is going to be extremely helpful to our family. Um, I just know it is. It already has been actually. So definitely personalize these to match your lifestyle, your family, your needs, and put one together. It doesn't cost a lot. I definitely used a lot of printer ink, but that's still not a real costly thing. I love, love, love this soft binder. You can totally buy a hard one, you know, the plastic binders, but this one is really soft and it's nice to write on. 
The back is solid. I can flip it over, write some notes on that if I need to. Um, I take a lot of stuff out of this book and I put it into the planner I'm using on a weekly basis so I kind of know what's going on, but everything starts in this planner. Then it goes onto our family calendar that hangs on the chalkboard wall and it goes into my planner so I have it with me at all times because this book right here does not leave the house. It's not something I travel with. It's not something I haul usually up floor to floor. Sometimes I do if I'm working at night, but most of the time it lives right down here on the counter on top of the bread machine right the, there. And um, anybody can get in here for anything. Um, there's some emergency money stashed. I did not show you that. There's some money stashed in case my family needs it um, at any time. If we want to order a pizza or something and I, I don't have my debit card, we can use cash. Or if Jackson needs a little for school, I don't have to worry about going to the ATM late at night. So that's another thing I keep in here that you did not see. Um, I will list as many of the printables and such on the corresponding blog post and below. Um, I'll do my best to get the blog post up in a timely manner. It might be a little bit late. A lot of times my videos go live before the blog post so just hang on with me I'll do my best to put all the links in the down bar but if there's something I showed you that maybe I didn't provide a link for leave me a comment let me know what you're looking for and I'll do my best to guide you obviously we are away right now we are traveling we are heading down um, to Louisiana to handle some stuff with one of our children so quite a few of these videos are pre-recorded I'm not sure how the blog post will roll out. I'll do my best to take some additional pictures, put the links in on the blog post as well. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love to know if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. I would also love to know if you guys use a homekeeping book, a home management binder, what your favorite tabs are, how you use it, what's your most important part of your homekeeping book. I would love to hear you um, because it's been years since I've had one of these. I just did not find it helpful for many, many years. Now I do. And I really hope you got some ideas and some inspiration to start one for yourself or maybe reorganize it if you have one that is not really working well for you. Reorganize it and make it more family friendly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. You can always subscribe using the button at the top just in case you're new here. There are social media links where you can find me on all the different social media platforms. There's also a link to my blog below. You can just click on that. Head over to my blog in case you want to, you know, read up on us a little bit more. There's tons of stuff over there and there's some additional videos on each side. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.